Hey guys, I'm Ada C again, and today we're gonna play a bit of Minecraft. Uh, me and Diddy Gaff 1000 have set up this world, you've seen us do play it before. But now he's set it up so that I can go on that world while he's offline using Milms. So it's like he's, he's set up an online server so that even when he's not online, I can still get in there and carry on building our farm. Just got to wait for this loading screen to finish. Anybody who's on my ADC Talks YouTube channel, just bear with me, I've got a great movie, well, video coming, it's going to be a series. It's another, it's another me, myself and Ada video, but it's like, I'm going to start doing more frequent 30 minute videos using the snow yo so head over to that channel if you wanna if you if you knew or haven't heard of that channel before then head over have a look see what you think and we've got a 30 minute video coming in a few days or next week so you've got to be a bit hiccups now i built this this is my storage area i've got to leave all the way down here so I, I know the lever is quite easy to get to, but people often can look in there with it. So I just thought, stick it there, so that no one pinches my stuff while I'm all that. I'll get me a normal sword. Before I go, I'm going to give you a little tour of what we've done so far. This is my build, which I've uh, got all these furnaces up. Mines are down there. I'll, I'll take you down there in a minute because we'll be doing a lot of that. Uh, let me grab an axe just in case I come across some overgrown trees because you never run short of wood. I've showed you one of these tours before, but I'll, I'll show you again. This building I built, this is a my mining area. It gives me a bit of safety. When I come out, there's no way to get in. The only way you can get in using this button which is on a timer, you press it and you literally got to run and then you so nice little uh, deterrent for anyone who tries to come into my arm who is unaware of the uh, timing system uh, we've got a train station here now even though I need to no oh, I think Diddy Gaff has uh, fixed it for me there was a track missing Halfway down, but it looks like he's fixed it for me, so let's go and see if I've got a minecart. I think I have. But if I have, then I can just go and grab one. So I'm very sure I've got. Uh... Oh, damn it. Did he get some my head chest? Hopefully, there's a minecart in the air somewhere. There you go. Let's uh, shut that in case he comes back all on the way, because. I might even hide the lever later. Have some pistons here or something, not the blocks for. I'll think of something. So, anyway, here we go. Here's the station. <coughs> stick this. I right, can stick it anywhere because I have put the button down yet. There's supposed to be a button here, but uh, I haven't put it down yet, so I've. Uh, it's because a bit slow at the moment. I need to change this to power rails. But there's a couple of power rails when we're getting further down. That's all set up. It's just this start bit. Power rails cost uh, gold, which I haven't found much gold at the moment. Yeah, here's the power rails. There you go. They'll move a bit faster now. Look. So, this is a tunnel system. See how the track went there? We're trying to sort out a system so that if I'm on a cart going in this direction then any carts coming backwards will stop and let me past kind of thing so so we don't end up crashing into each other trying to sort the system out so that I can't 
and down the track walls and with mine cart on the tracks. I just got that quickly because I go into some zombie or freak or white into a problem. It's uh I think it's just me on at the moment. So I can just uh, skip till morning, get rid of these uh, mobs. The last thing I want is a creeper sneaking up on me, which has happened before. This is the main station. What you do, you click your button, that one goes to Stacy's station, the light comes on, and then when you put the cart here, you go through the station and it takes you to Stacy station. This one's to branch mine, even though it's Dilly Gaff spelt that one. Anyone see what's wrong with the spelling branch? Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the sorting section. You drop all your items in here. Although not everything's sorted yet, but it's. You drop like gravel, cobblestone, anything you want and it all gets sorted into these chests cobblestone into that one coal goes into that one sand wood redstone slime damn <laughs> damn <laughs> dirt more wood huh? I'm not sure where it feels now so we've got two doing the same thing but uh looks like I got wool. I need to have a look at that. So I'm very sure the wool was at my own return. Oh well. So that's that. <coughs> and this is a cow farm. If you get some wheat I don't know how he set it up to be fair. Um, Dilly Gaffer set this one up, but the one I, I made a very similar one and I had some steps here so you could go up and feed the cows at the top. Because what you have to do, I'm guessing he just opens a window here and it feeds a lot of that. But what you do, you feed two cows and they make a baby, the baby drops through there. Now if I hit the, this button, the lava comes up. But the lava won't kill the baby because then blow the slab. So as soon as the babies grow to the same size as these goes, then the lava will kill the cow and then they turn into beef. Which I pinch. Don't tell Diddy Gaff. Now this area, this area is the bone meal farm. These plants you can only find underwater. What happens is these plants grow and when they get to the observers at the top, then they get chopped and all the bone meal gets placed into this chest. And now you're probably wondering why do we need bone meal? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this 37 pack just to show you. I'm sure I'll feel well mine. <laughs> you can grab a pack of uh, bowl meal, or half a pack. Probably best to make sure I've got some oak saplings with me before I show you. I'll put that one in there. Because over here, We've got a wood farm. What happens is you've got a little sapling here. In this chest, at the moment there's nothing in there. If I place this, all these palm meal in there, and wait, the tree grows, and then the it pushes the wood out, so that you've got constant um, oak. Sometimes it takes a while, and sometimes it's quite fast. But uh, I won't just do it. But um, if you just shoulder, I just use the old lot instead. But uh, but I did see it happen a couple of times, and it pushes the oak this way. And once the oak gets to here, then it starts pushing it outwards as well. 
and then you just come along and then chop off whatever you need. So it's like constant top. <coughs> this is your normal wheat farm. You can all know how to make one of them. <laughs> This is the sheep farm. I showed you the sheep farm last time. Where the you got a pair of shears inside a dispenser. And every time the sheep's air grows, wool grows, then the shears chop the wool off. You see that one then? Now you've probably wondering where the wool has gone. We've now got a minecart collecting the wool and placing it into a chest. So all we have to do then is grab the wool take it to our uh, house Bobby's uncle so they've been really busy really these other things that I could show you like Stacy's station and there's a few other mines and stuff but uh, these are the main builds that we've been working on lately Mainly on the morning underneath. Yes, just in case I don't want to go all the way back up there to it. I've got little signs showing me where the exit is. Trust me, I need them. Because there is a lot. And I mean a lot of stuff to do on here. <coughs> I'm trying to find the rare stuff like redstone and slime, but at the moment there's no red exit sign. And then this one cuts off. I've started digging down there, digging down there. I think we'll dig this way today. I've forgot my torches. Trust me to forget something. When you're mining, you definitely need torches because one thing you don't want is to be coming back and then a creeper sneaks up behind you and bang, be massive hole in the wall. The it's the main thing I'm worried about, really, creepers. Zombies. Easy. Fight them any time. Oh, yes, Even them, uh, them never things, them big black gangly things. Oh, I don't think they're called. Your brain's dying if you're going to too much to drink. I've only had one can, one bottle. Feels like. Tell you what, what I tend to do, because I've no previous call. Every six, every six blocks. So now I'll do my six. One, two, three. Sure, they're not people's game. It's all in this area. Now, it's a bit too boring. Some people, some viewers, not too bad. Yeah. All viewers don't like it. Oh, I'm gonna crouch a bit. I like it when I find lava next to. Oh, but also, I like it when I find these tracks. So, when you find them, you tend to find um, spoilers. Maybe. 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 What I'm going to do is I'm going to go across. Because I want to lose track of the track that I'm talking about. I'm going to straight across. 
I could do it, but some glass air, so I can still see. Down there, in case there's any creepies. But not myself in danger. And obviously, I have these inside there. So, I'm probably still going to do and get some glass and a sign. Here is my profile. Absolutely. Just going to go Yeah, exit. And that's why I put exit signs up everywhere because it's only takes you to go one long turn and then you're walking around for hours trying to get out of these uh, mines. creative so sometimes when I'm playing survival I forget to eat food because on creative you can just keep doing and going and going but when you're on survival you can't you have to eat so still open, I can still see down there and if I fancy going down there one of the days then I can just break the glass and go down. I probably need more glass. <laughs> oh no, I'll have to go out and get some sand in a minute. So I'll have to go get some sand and turn it to glass and then come back. Like a dying Sun, he can still try and get me because he's in the water. Go away. <laughs> so I'll try and get a couple of blocks of sand. You know, I'm a natural player, I mean. I don't play things on creative as much. Well, not filming anyway, on creative. I used to make some really good um, worlds on creative, but I think when you do start playing survival, it's completely different. It's like you've actually achieved something at the game. Whereas on creative, all you do is bring blocks down. So it's good fun, but then it gets boring, so. I'd rather do it the old fashioned way. What I could do is uh, do the old. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we just got the sun. I was contemplating. I need wood. I'm still thinking about that um, lever that's clearly in view. So, picture. They take, take all the pictures. You know what I mean, though. I know what I want, but I can't. I don't know what it's called. Frame, picture frame thing. That one, painting. So it's just wood, a piece of wood. Eh? And I definitely got wool. Thanks to me stealing them off the internet. You got to do that, but then you got to place the paint in there. Now you have to place it at the bottom, do you? Yeah. Oh, I did that wrong. So, um, thinking. I think it's with the gates, aren't you? If I remember right. I'm trying to think now how you do it. I think it's with gates. I'm, sure, I'm very sure it is. Let's make gates. Uh, let's have a look. So I need two blocks. Gates we get for two blocks. Get one. Oh, yeah. Still might be. on YouTube so he's gonna know but <laughs> hopefully he don't we'll see this video. If he does oh dear so I've done that let's end up with that sand so when you've got three different um, ovens you have to remember which one you put <laughs> I've still got some stamina left creepy down there and I can see them but I can't be armed by them because this glass is protecting me. Like I 
Just slide down there, we'll have to head back on the side. The coal's not going down, where's the dirt there? Where's the dirt? I'll do tentacle in a downwards direction. Because dirt usually means you've lost the water or the edge of land. I'm going to again, see what we get. This is Bell. I'm going to go in the counter and use my Picasso Bell. Oh, we've ended up in another cavern. Well, that's a nice uh, iron in from there, look. Oh, man. Well, there's something there. Some creature. And then, well, look, it's a big creeper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block this creeper in I was hoping I could reach that block there but I can't That's no good Yep, definitely a creeper You're not getting me young man Directions because there's definitely oil in there, and iron comes in handy. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can build for miles away, but you can't eat them in the end for miles away. when you get in these situations because you're like I want the stuff but I don't want to get blown up by a creeper I think to yourself what should I do? Should have brought me bone out. That would have helped. Oh, I'm sidetracking a tiny bit. Only because I want to try and get some of this coal. Well, I don't want to do something silly that's going to let that creeper get up here and get me. Grab a piece of coal, put a block there. Oh, he day work that time. Usually chucks the block up. But anyway, we got coal here anyway. Oh, he even off the edge there. You see me? It's coal that way, look. This is a nice area to get loot. I don't know why I call it loot. We play Fortnite too much, I think. So, um, Digging this area up a bit so that nothing could come from around that corner. Because even though I was sidetracking, instead of doing the usual mining, I still want to try and get some of this nice little loot. Get some torches put down. It's going to be dark around here. Right. Lock this area off a bit. The only thing that can get me there is spiders. Suppose. 
I'm sorry, I'm talking a bit slow. So I'm not gonna <laughs> more nervous talking. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Come on. I've got the wrong block. Silly man. Big stack of build. Give me that big stack. Right, that way puts it in one place. Off. Get off here. It's not too bad, I'm creative, but then you can delete it straight away, but uh, on survival. It's a nightmare. Out. Get some of this nice loot. Never have too much coal, especially when you build putting lamps everywhere to try and keep away from the creepers. Seal the roof off now because I've uh, got all that loot. It's never a good idea to keep it open because that's when you come down here and end up uh, being blown up by a creeper. The easier for, it, for mobs to get in, the easier for you to get blown up. That's what I was saying. Have like, I could have like a mine here. I think that's why the is the thing here. <gasps> Damn, do that. Silly me. But yeah, well, this way is the uh, cavern. But that could be a good thing though, there could be a uh, redstone in this direction. So it could be a good idea to have a look that way. Exit sign up. <coughs> and let's have a look this way. Ooh, it's having a little leech. Oh, it's having a little leech. 
Looks like a lot of trouble. He's best to try and execute his uh, big tactical goal, but sometimes it just comes out of nowhere. Because even though it's a bit still there, where's that your big tactical goal? I have no idea why. The creators of uh, Minecraft just already put a kill off your <laughs> big tactical I know this is a bit boring, so I'm gonna uh, build something you need. I'll build it. I might fast forward through this. Mind you a bit. Just need a lot. It's a bit more entertainment. And then we'll build something. Oh, yeah. Something to drop it, right? We could build me noise. I know this is a lot. Do noise off the top of my head. I'm great with uh, redstone light. All I need to do is build some stuff. I'm looking for me fills. I'm not getting off. You can't have a redstone. I'm not getting off either. I've got sand as well, so I'm going to throw it. I can grab some stuff off from his house. And create some lighting for you guys. At least then, yeah. You have a bit of time to this serve, yeah. We could do some uh, pranks next time on Divi Guff. <laughs> Don't know what I'd do, but could be fun. Two signs is fine. Still works, so I'm later. So let's say you know you'll use signs for that. If you want to create a little iron place or something, I'll chuck the iron into the cooker. Army junk box was full last time. Did he have Steffi been here? <laughs> that raw wood on there. I can't remember what I had in there. Because he's took everything out and I, I can't remember what I had in there. Oh. Oh, that was glass warning. That was in glass, yeah. Need the mine cart. Put some of the pickaxes away. I don't want them each. I'm not going back to the mines today. I want to build something for you guys, like I say. I want to show you some lighting. So, uh, should be okay for, that, for now. Grab some redstone because I've got some in my secret chest. Don't tell the egg This is my secret chest. I wasn't going to reveal this on uh, YouTube because then you'll know where it is. <laughs> but I'm, I'm hoping he doesn't watch my video all the way to this part because this is like 30 minutes in, so you might get bored at the start and then turn it off. So then you won't know this. This is where I idle my redstone, I've got a repeater, I need some more of them actually, I've got two lots of redstone, I've got gold, don't think I need gold on this one, I need sticky pistons, I've got stickies and I've got pistons, so I need a button after, I don't think I need a lever, not yet anyway, I definitely need torches, so we're going to try and set this up first. I'll show, you, um, I'll show you a couple of lighting 
ways because there's, there's a few ideas I have for lighting, redstone lighting. That's one thing I am really good at doing redstone lighting because I, I do know how to make professional lights. Uh, before I go, I need to. Um, Dirt. The reason why I use dirt is because it's easier to delete afterwards. And it's easier to place down because you can get anywhere anyway. So I just go. There you go. No mobs can go back because this is a slab if I'm bad. I'm not actually sure. I'm not actually sure where what's happening, but anyway, this is what we're going to do for the lighting. Uh, let's do it. I want to show you a couple of lightings. So on. let's do this one about here. Yeah. We'll have a couple of lighting methods on this roof. Yeah, I don't want it to be too close to the edge, so I, oh dear me, trust me, all the coal stone dropped down there, honey. let's take a risk. Let's <laughs> guess now, I always have uh, Oh man, what have I done? Zones off the top of my head. I need uh, sticky pistons. I haven't made them, I've just um, brought the ingredients. So, what I'll do, we'll. Uh, I might as just dropped in there. Get in there. <laughs> I don't know if you followed me in then, but I'm gonna take you out anyway because I'll do it. Sorted. <coughs> Would have actually been some action if I uh, got killed. <laughs> but anyway, let's have something to eat. Let me have all, so I'll be back up. That's how I'm making four sticky pistons. Probably need more than that, but. Oh dear me. What was it to make pistons? I need wood and iron. That's one thing I'm going to struggle with iron. Always struggle with iron. I'll grab, I'll grab cobblestone and stone because sometimes on this game they like you to have stone rather than cobblestone. On this expansion pack, they're both look the same. So that's why I have to check, check everything over. I can't tell the difference between cobblestone and stone. There you go. Oh, it is slightly different if you look. I never knew before. Okay. So, um, let's see if I've got any iron down here. I, actually, I have something new one down there. I'm going to think. I'm going to think. I've written grains like I see sometimes. I'll, I'll just forget things. There you go. I don't think it's enough though. So I need to make pistons. Oh, wood, wood, yeah, wood, wood, wood. How much wood? Now yeah, that's something else. Look, <laughs> well, that wood farm, we're gonna have bloody wood. Yeah, let's take it to the morning. This is actually the slowest I've ever took. It's because I'm uh, concentrating. I tend to do that when I'm concentrating. I, I tend to just leave my beer on the side for like three hours. Thank you for the door, stupid. So we're not going that way. <laughs> um, Oh my lord. They're not going to let me up. Let's 
and good for you. I need some blocks anyway, I just thought. You have to forgive me, I'm a bit blonde. But I'll do these uh, creative videos where you, you create something really. I've never done before, so it's like something new, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. Let's just make sure I've got plenty of dirt or oh, I got a sand over. This is where I need to get to Dilly Gaff's place because he's got a lot of stuff like this. Stock up on sand and stuff, I think. The other the outside is gonna be covered in gravel and dirt because I've got I keep having to come out there. So we'll get rid of this mob. Spiders don't attack you in the daytime unless you tap them first. That's why you lose it quite easy to kill. Um, thinking, yeah. But there. Two, three, four. I definitely need a lot more pistons just to show you this light to be fair. Need glowstone as well actually. I have I have fought this through. This was the a disaster. <laughs> well I'll do. I'll show you this one another time. I know exactly what I'm gonna do for the next one. I'm going to get some red lumps which uh Dilly Gaffer's already got some. So let me just check out to make them. Cause if I can make them without Dilly Gaffer's all then oh that's well done. Oh my lord. See? It's because I'm used to being on survival. I'm used to just grabbing things out of the chest. But uh, whiteies, you have a minecart on a track. You have a activator rail or detector rail. I think it's the activator one. And when the card gets up with the activator rail, then it turns the lights on. So you can build a track around. But this 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 little tutorial has been a disaster because I've got no pistons and I'm gonna to have to go and find more iron, more redstone, just to show you guys. So what shall we build? What shall we build? That might interest you guys. Mm. I suppose I could change my lock on my door. But at the moment, as you know, press a button and then you go for the door. Which didn't happen that time. But uh, there is another way I could do this. I'm gonna see if that works actually. stop people getting in but obviously because I'm changing something then I need to get in. Uh, so what I could do is have a security code sounds hard but it's actually quite simple probably need more distance though to do it I think I don't need more distance. <laughs> Out of all the things to be there, there's a sheep. Let me see that. Should, in fact, I'm going to put that in slow motion.
Yeah, I'm coming up with an idea to make it even harder for people to get into my house. So I'll put it there. I still need to get up there somehow. It would help if I could stop falling. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I still need to do this um, kind of going down the stairs thing. Probably need to go a lot further away, to be honest with you. Because the way I'm going to build it, you'll, you'll see in a minute. But, uh, this way. It's not going to be easy, it's going to be complex, it's like a number combination thing that you have to build. It does take up a lot of redstone and repeaters, but when it's done, it is great. So what it says, Get them uh, the Peters back actually. The ones I put on the roof. Because I will need them. Go up. You're going to end up with a big massive wall here. <laughs> We don't need two of them anyway, but we're going to use these the sticky pistons. Oh, I'll get in the door now, can I? Oh, man. No. Uh, we need, a, need the button back. Tell him to has it. Oh, I'll just... I'll just put it on there, for now, until I finish. I'll have to put it back after. Oh dear me. I don't have the torch anymore, but I'll definitely need it. Because it's time to good night time. Let me just uh, go to sleep. <coughs> this is probably the worst Minecraft video I've ever had done because uh, <laughs> I'm trying to show you something and She's firing on me. But anyway. <coughs> Let's try again. Third time lucky, so what you do bring the reds down this way, you put a, a sticky piston. Probably one. Yeah, I could put it there, take that away. Because you know that have redstone next to no, it wouldn't be there actually. Shut up. I can't even see what weapon I've got because you you on my screen. Shut up, man. I think you're wrong, man. I have probably better anything else to that I'll just download my sticky pistol. <laughs> like no! I'll cover that up outside after, but what you do, you put a cold stone there, and then you do the same again here. And again, it's going to be in the open, so I'm going to have to cover that up. Just 
one of the problems with it being on survival, but um, it has to happen. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I made a mistake. Again. I cannot have a sticky piston that close. I'm going to have to fill that in. It's going to be, have to be here. The sticky piston is going to have to be here, the second one. Which I'll show you why in a minute. <coughs> that red stone there. Red stone there. It's down there. Probably need a repeater there, so let's have a look how many repeaters I've got. I've got two. I'm going to need at least three. Because what I need is I need one there.
Bowser is a problem with this wall. There's no way I cancel that. So we have to press the wrong number. Tell you nothing. Unless code for cancel it. Now I think I have to make a cancel on there. But uh, yeah. Can get some buttons. I can't even get inside. Let's get to Phil's house and get some buttons. <laughs> It'll be too far. I think. <laughs> Why is that thing going wrong, Bobby? That's just um. You in? You know you me. <laughs> them there for now. Here you go, at least you know it works. So Oh, you want buttons, don't we? That's what I'm coming for, buttons. But when I, I need to... Uh, need a way of cancelling to look. Let's have a look at the buttons. One. But it's expensive. Maybe you can chop some trees in, I think. Maybe in the morning. One minute about the timer. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Not again. You know what I need now? An automatic tree chopping down the machine. So yeah, I ain't actually got to use my axe. <laughs> Just puts it on a you know chest. We play survival, but we still want everything done for us. <laughs> That's why we make all these machines to do it for us. Sticks and cobblestone. 
And that would have been a lot easier than me going out and chopping a tree down. You stupid person. Alright. I'll do. At least I've got loads of switches and buttons. See me going backwards and forwards at the moment because I'm a noob. It's nine signs now. I ain't got a foot for nine signs, so I'm gonna have to get blue. Alright. Sixteen now though. You ever find that you start off with you empty all your pockets and then you still end up with about 50 of them? So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, I hate that. Um, open that edit option on Minecraft. Make a mistake on a sign, you have to delete the whole thing. So I think we're going to go 1 and 4 because I currently live at number 14. the same as cobblestone anyway, it's just it's been cooked. I seem to be quiet today now. There it goes. I think I'm more talkative when I'm on games like Fortnite where it's competitive, whereas this is nice relaxing game. Eh? I could do. Uh, 
straw suit all up. So that now when I'm uh, nearly finished seeing it up. <laughs> What I could do is put it so that, yeah, actually, I know how to do it. It would cost me another sticky piston, which I've got two, I don't know. I only need one, actually, I would think. One sticky piston. There. I'm climbing inside because I just fell in. The sticky piston back there, yes. A stone. And you're probably wondering what I'm, you're doing. I'm going to tr attempt to put in. A deflector. You know, I won't, won't be able to do it for everyone. Oh, it's turned out time, let me know. Now it's, it's a good job day to blow up. Oh man, get that. Now it works. Let's get down here and get to morning. I'm going to try and put a canceler on so that if someone presses the wrong lever, because all you have to do to get in at the moment is press all the levers and you can get in. But I want to create it so that if someone presses number six, seven, eight, or nine, because they're the best ones I can. Do it on. In fact, yeah. Be careful because I know there's a creep around here or so I'm just We all need to make it this side. There needs to be one block up. There needs to be a bed there. We've got a block in front. Creepers boot again. There was definitely a creeper just. So we're going to one, two, three. We'll bring this wall out here as well. And literally, what we're doing is we're do that. I'm not sure whether that one works. Yeah, it does. That's good. So now, if anybody presses seven, eight, or nine, I can do to number six as well, actually. But it depends on how close the redstone is to the rest of it. Should be okay. So I can do it on six as well. So you see it at the moment, one and four is on. So the door opens. So if my calculation is right, if I press number six, when I press that, it should block the signal. So then they have to deselect that to get the uh, door to open. And it should be the same for number seven. Yeah, well, you can hear me, can you? Eight. 
Anyway, it's a deep tearing as well because if you listen to number one, it looks sounds exactly the same. Whereas number two, three, and five don't actually do anything. So it's also it's not just good for this design. It's also good for security because people are going to go, hang on, I can hear a piston on that one, so that's got to be the right one. And it kind of puts them off the idea. Did he have to come along uh, right turn you on? Like, what? what are you doing? So, probably not, so I'm keeping it selected at the moment because uh, I need to grab more cold stone or stone for this design. I'll try and cover up this monstrosity. to find out if there's a way you can stop people from putting a switch on the door like this because that would be my next thing I was thinking maybe I could have it so that there's an iron door here and an iron door on the inside so when you press the lever it opens this one but it closes the next one that's something I'm thinking about doing. I want my security sky eye on this. So that's all done now, I can seal that off. I don't even need this wall anymore. This is uh, something that I was using earlier on. I know I'm using my hand for this cobblestone, but I, I just thought. You don't actually gain any couple of from it, but just get rid of it. I still need to sort the tracks out. But what do you think of my uh, combination locks? Let me know in the description if you want to build one of these, or if you're having trouble with any design. I'm very good with redstone, even though I'm a bit stuttery when I'm talking about it. I am really good. Redstone. It's just I like to play it on survival, so I have to keep finding pistons and iron and everything else to create stuff like this. But I can make redstone inventions all day long. I find that's probably one of the main reasons why I play Minecraft because the, the redstone. I think it's there's so much you can discover and create. Electric wise, it's just a great game. So, I'm going to get rid of all this. I think I'm going to sleep in the new house and see if how long it takes Phil to get inside my house. Uh, you shot me. <laughs> Can the camera even see you without any lighting? Yeah. It's a good one. Are you Cooper? No, no. Yeah, I'm mm. 
I'm leaving him in. This is his world, though. So I'm, I'm leaving him in now. Leave the book. I've said so On his world? Yeah, because well, that, that's my building, but he, co he comes in and takes like, stuff he needs out of the chest. So I've set up a combination. Like, if he presses number 14, which is that left, but he don't, he don't know that, then press his button. Then you can get in the door. But if he thinks I'm um, and tries to press all the buttons, if he presses number 8, it will work. Even that 1 and 4 are still down. There's no That's good. The door's not going to open. <laughs> I like that. So it's, it like locks him, locks him out if you press it just one switch wrong. <laughs> good. <laughs> Quite cool. I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you enjoyed my video. Hopefully, uh, Phil said he was gonna do some videos himself, so hopefully, uh, films himself trying to get into my head. If he don't, then he don't, but if he does, he does. So, I'll do another Minecraft video soon. I'll need to cut it short now because, uh, we haven't really had to I only allowed two hours on YouTube, so, uh, I'll try and think of something really amazing to create next time. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. Thank you for watching Ada C Games.